Central states charge stamp duty at very low re rates on the moment of entry. For other mortgages, stamp duty on the value of the mortgage money and the registration charge in addition. Generally, the amount is sizable. For recovery, mortgage suit is essential. Mortgage degree, decree is important. Permission of court to sell the property is very much required. For limited companies, appropriate resolution authorizing the director or the official to deposit the title deeds. Complete other formalities, execution of documents is very much required. Charge initiation should also not to be overlooked. More about charge initiation, bit later we will discuss. That documents of title or deeds means that legal instrument which proves the right of a person in a particular property. A covenant can be inserted in the mortgage deed giving the power for the mortgagee to sell. Then mortgage deed to be properly stamped and registered. This would defeat the importance of an equitable mortgage. Original documents in possession of the mortgagee would save from lot of complications. Section 47 of the Registration Act is important from the angle of priority among the registered instruments. A registered document operates from the time of its execution. Example, a mortgage deed has been executed on 7th April and registered on 18th April. Another mortgage deed on the same property executed on 9th April, same year, and registered on 10th April. The one executed on 7th April would have the priority. If at all, there is a dispute among both of them. Section 48 discusses about a mortgage by way of deposit or title deeds prevails against any subsequent mortgage relating to the same property. Anomalous mortgage, the lost mortgage. It is more on theory. A mixer of different types of mortgages, not popular. He is not a simple mortgage, a mortgage by your conditional sale, usufructuary mortgage, English mortgage, or mortgage by your deposit title deeds within the meaning of this section. Generally, the terms will not be clear, so it will be a vague terms. That is the reason it is not popular. Pledge and mortgage. Let us understand certain aspects relating to pledge, hypothecation, mortgage. That will give better idea. A security can be a tangible security, could be land, building, life insurance policy, national savings certificate, fixed deposit of a bank, gold ornament or a vehicle. When it is a movable property, then it is pledge is applicable. If it is a movable property given as security, mortgage is applicable. There are three things which are essential. One is owner, the other one is position. The third one is the right. In the case of pledge, the ownership remains with the owner, that is the borrower. And the possession is going to be with the creditor, the lender. And the right is going to be with the lender, the creditor. And that is the banker. In the case of mortgage, ownership will remain with the owner, the borrower. The possession will remain generally with the borrower. The right on the property is going to be with the creditor, the lender, the banker. Suppose if it is a movable property, there is one more aspect which is associated that is called hypothecation. In that case, the ownership and the portion will be with the owner, whereas the right will be with the lender, in our case the banker. In the case of hypothecation or pledge, movable property is applicable. For mortgage, immovable property is associated with. Examples for pledge. When a person is taking a finance on the security of gold ornaments, when the person is taking a finance on the security of his life insurance policy, or a person is taking a loan on the term deposit of a bank, these things will be coming under pledge. Example for hypothecation, when there is a manufacture of stock, stock is into the portion of the manufacturer, then it is hypothecation. Vehicle, car or two-wheeler is being purchased out of bank finance. The ownership will remain with the owner, that is the borrower. Possession will remain with the owner, that is the borrower. Whereas the right, equitable right will be with the lender, the creditor. That is called hypothecation. Mortgage, as we have seen, it is applicable to 
immovable properties right pledge ownership with the pledger pledger is the person who pledges the property pledge is the person who is lending on the property and pledge position and equitable right on default sale possible subject to giving reasonable notice which is a must without giving a notice if the bank or the creditor is going to dispose of the property then that particular sale is not valid there are number of cases decided by supreme court advising the creditors if at all there is a pledge involved give a reasonable opportunity for the pledger to understand about the sale to be affected because the ownership remains with the owner possession is with the creditor if at all he want to pay back he can pay back or he is likely to get a better pay a better payment for that that should not be deprived that is the reason as per law under the contract act giving a reasonable notice is a must mortgage equitable mortgage ownership portion with the mortgagor equitable right with the mortgagee creditor sale through court intervention pledge no right of foreclosure can sell the security to realize the dues mortgage certain cases the mortgagee can foreclose the property limitation period every transaction has got certain limitation period generally it is 3 years sometimes varies in the case of mortgage it is 12 years under the indian limitation act for filing suit for a sale of mortgage property 12 years from the date of mortgage debt becomes due for filing suit for foreclosure 30 years from the date the money secured by mortgage becomes due mortgage suit to be filed which is essential compulsory in the case the court within the jurisdiction where the mortgage property is situated order 34 of the code civil procedure code various aspect to be adhered suit for sale is filed court passes preliminary decree followed by a final decree execution after court's permission mortgage proceed to sell decree means the order of the appropriate or competent court on a suit filed by the appropriate persons and the mortgage can sell after getting the permission from the court and in such cases that sale has to be through a public auction execution means the order of the court is going to be utilized or going to be put into action that is called execution of decree with the availability of provisions under the surface act securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of security interest 2002 which has become essential part of bankers nowadays to recover money nowadays the banks as creditors have a better way of enforcing recovery without intervention of courts subject to other condition applicable for recovery of mortgage debts as well in order to make the bankers especially the bankers to get their repayment early there has been a provision made where there is no requirement of filing a suit in the appropriate court there are certain conditions which will be discussed later part in other sections so this is also applicable to mortgage debt if a mortgage is taken place the person has not repaid nowadays it has become easier for the bankers to recover even the mortgage dues without going to the court on account of the securitization act a limited company has availed finance by way of simple mortgage then there will be two types of registration one with the registrar of companies another with the sub registrar of assurance in whose jurisdiction the mortgage property is situated d all the above is the appropriate answer with regard to the priority of mortgages indian law of priorities is provided in section 48 of the transfer of property act the rule is based on the maxim he has a better title who has first in point of time section 47 of the registration act provides that a registered document operates not from the date of its registration but from the time of execution thus a document executed earlier though registered later than another as priority over the documents executed later 
The prior mortgage by deposit title deeds is not affected by subsequent registered mortgages as the same need not be registered. In this case, September 25th, equity mortgage took place. Subsequently, 7th October, simple mortgage took place and it was registered on the same day. The answer would be Bank B will get priority, Bank VPV will get priority, Bank B will get the priority since they have got the registration of the mortgage within the permitted limit. Neither Bank B nor VPV would get the priority. On 25th September, an equity mortgage has been created by W in favor of VPV, then VPV will be getting the priority because simple mortgage has taken place later, even though registration has taken place on the same day. A yeah, bank, creditor, mortgagee has invoked the provisions of the Surface Act to recover the mortgage debt. He succeeded in partial recovery for the balance, civil suit possible, civil suit possible provided documents are not time barred. As to forget since he has used the provisions of the Surface Act, criminal action appropriate. The appropriate answer is B, civil suit possible provided the documents are not time barred. Limitation period on a term loan, 3 years, 12 years, 3 years from the date of disbursement, none of these. It is none of these, the appropriate answer is 3 years from their respective due dates. So whichever the mortgage which has taken place first will get the priority. In this case, a borrower has managed to take finance from two different creditors on the same security on two different dates. The borrower B mortgagor has obtained the first mortgage, equitable mortgage from mortgage D. The letter evidencing deposit debt is submitted on 7th and the original documents given on 5th of that month. Subsequently, another equitable mortgage has taken place. For obvious reasons, the first mortgage which has taken place, that particular bank would get the priority. That means... D would be getting the priority, obviously. The yeah, borrower has not repaid and has been classified as NPA, non-performing asset. His securities include stock, hypothecation, receivables, assignment, and building quality security mortgage. The related loan document not time bought to recover the outstanding liabilities. A yeah, prudent banker would use the provisions of Civil Procedure Code, Criminal Procedure Code, Appropriate Acts, Surface Act. The answer is Surface Act because this is backed by secured finance. A mortgager has failed to repay their mortgage debt. The creditor being a bank can recover the money by filing a mortgage suit using the provisions of Surface Act, keeping quiet either A or B is the appropriate answer. Identify the incorrect one, mortgage by deposit or title deeds, usufructuary mortgage, ancillary mortgage, English mortgage. There is no mortgage called ancillary mortgage. C is the answer.